so uh, in the workflow designer we would go to the task developer and then we would have to create a session by going to tasks and then create and then uh, have it as session and give it a name as s underscore um, I would give s underscore m underscore gen and underscore departments underscore flat underscore file then I would create And then this would uh, you would have to uh, select a mapping to associate with the session, and the mapping that we uh, created is the one I selected. Click OK, and click done. And this is the uh, this is the session that has been created. Double click on it so that you can uh, edit the tasks go to mapping then yeah. click on departments on the SQ depart underscore departments then this is the relational uh, this is the uh, s mm. as you can see uh, this is the database connection and if you remember this was the connection string that we created earlier And just validate that and click OK and uh, you can give your own attributes here but uh, we will just use the default ones for now now we would click on the target department script file the flat file so as this is a flat file we wouldn't have any connections created here if it was a database we would have a connection for the target database too so you can just uh, have the default thing there and then you have the merge type so by default merge type would be no merge so if you have already a file created and you want to uh, have this file uh, the generated file merged with the existing file you would you would select the option sequential merge but right now you're just uh, not doing that so we would have no merge and uh, we have a bunch of options here if you can also append the file if uh, it already exists so we would append if exist the output file directory uh, the output type is a file the output file directory you have the all the locations here the directory locations the file name it, it's already defaulted as departments underscore file one dot we would give it as a text file because it is a flat file as we s discussed earlier so we can also use a dot dat as we've already uh, discussed. So if any if the file has been rejected due to errors, it would uh, go to the bad file directory. Now click apply to uh, save the changes and click OK. So we have edited the task. Now we would go to the workflow designer. So this is an existing session which we had created earlier. You need not worry about this. Uh, so we would drag the session that we just created so because these two sessions are different sessions you would not have any any of these sessions interrupting with the other so Joda is running run. okay This is the workflow monitor so that you can keep a watch on uh, on the current session on the current task. So now, if you double click on this, you would uh, see the task details here. And the, as you see the status of the task detail, it shows that it has be it uh, it has succeeded. Then the number of low rows that have been applied 27 rows and the last error message you can see like no errors have been encountered and there is no last error code so we have successfully generated a flat file today now we can uh, look at the uh, flat file on the repository server so now we are, we are going to look at the file that we have generated so 
So I have uh, saved this on um, on server. Then in for shade. Then the target files. Here you see the file flat file that we just created. And if you double click and open on it, you see the information that we have generated from the database. The number of columns. You can also validate this by comparing the database values with the flat file values. So this was it for today. Uh, thanks. Thank you very much for uh, listening and paying attention. Uh, uh, please visit uh, technicalskills.org uh, for any updates or new information with Informatica and we would meet again. Thank you. Bye-bye.